In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best bunch route combinations right now to be able to attack a lot of what the current meta is, including man coverage, zone coverage, shaded down man, and just regular man coverage. This comes to us out of the Detroit Lions offensive playbook, but it can be found in almost every bunch. I think it actually can literally be found in every bunch in the game. Um, and that is the play verticals. If you guys want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook, it'll help you understand why bunch is great every single year. You can get all of my ebooks by becoming a Patreon member. It's really um, just a great deal. Ten bucks gets you access to everything at the Patreon, all ebooks, all updates, any new ebooks that we release. We're gonna be releasing a brand new defense this week, which I'm really excited about. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. It's only ten bucks to sign up, but if you want to sign up, the link is in the description. Okay guys, so today we're talking about verticals out of Gun Bunch, and we're gonna be sharing with you, it does require Slot Apprentice um, or Hot Route Master, I think to make this really good. I'll show you a way to do it without that as well, um, but let's go ahead and get into the field and talk about the play verticals out of the bunch. So the setup is very uh, straightforward. We're going to want to uh, post our slot we're going to drag our solo receiver, and we're going to wheel our running back. This is a setup where we get kind of a lot accomplished um, when we talk about the meta, right? So let's say that they're playing man-to-man, -man, but they're not shading underneath. What you can do is right at the snap, you're going to read this wheel route. If, this, if he looks open past lead outside, and you see there, we're going to a lot of times get that tackle bottle. We get a quick throw for... You know about five to ten yards and could potentially be a house call depending on how the defense guards it okay so what they're going to have to do to stop that is they're going to have to shade their man coverage underneath what this is going to do is it's going to create this post route with really easy separation over the middle of the field now the other thing that this formation is going to help us with especially if you have a good running back um this wheel route is gonna, we're gonna get a natural pick, natural rub. We're gonna free form that away from the defender, as you can see there, and a lot of times you'll get that little animation. So this is a little bit of a later read in the play, but don't sleep on this read because you will get a lot of um, natural picks and natural rubs within this formation and within this play specifically. So again, we're gonna look to this uh, wheel route first, not open, we look here. Oh, okay, we'll freeform outside. I like to highball and freeform at the same time. And you saw there that we can get that open, especially against shaded underneath man. Okay, so the next read on the play is um, the drag is kind of a check down read. So you'll see here if you if they're not playing a yellow, um, you know. But but again, you've got this little check down read. So chances are, if they're if they're going to play a good shaded underneath, they're going to do some variation of this where they're going to have those two deep blue zones um, to be able to defend that. They're going to have to go use the post, and then that's going to leave this drag open underneath right in that little pocket. Now, the other thing that, the other real primary purpose of this drag is if they're playing man, a lot of people like to put this defender into an outside third to try to stop the, um, like, to try to stop the C route, Right? So what we're going to be able to do with this route combination is we're going to be able to attack the underneath middle of the field because this third is not going to match this drag, right? He's going to actually jump back onto the wheel. So you see here, he jumps back on the wheel. I could throw this drag right in this little pocket. Now, the other reason why this wheel is so important is because against a zone look, whether it be cover three, whether it be cover four, um, or in the situation like I just showed you, where they're putting that outside third over here, what you'll see is this wheel will kind of distract the third and you can throw that right there. So this is a great little setup. If you don't have um, Slot Apprentice or Hot Route Master, you can just put this guy on a smart routed in and you'll get the same, you'll get the same basic action. So you get that little pick play there and you got that coming back across. Um, all we're trying to do here is basically get our get the user to go to the left so that we can open up this window for the drag. So uh, as soon as we see the user, like if this was the user, as soon as we see him go guard the, the, the tight end, or not the tight end, but the post or the in route, 
that's where we're gonna hit this little in or this little uh, check down read right here, as you can see. So super effective little play. Now again, zone coverage, my, my favorite thing to do um, is to attack the seams with the tight end wheel. I think that the tight end wheel is one of the most underrated routes this year. It was one of the best routes last year. We've kind of been sleeping on it all year because it's been mostly a man meta. But if they're in zone, that is still a really good read. You can easily hit that. And again, if they're playing you know, hard flat coverage to try to stop your wheel, okay? Hard flat coverage, watch the yellows. You'll see right here, right in the seam, this little high ball, really effective against zone coverage. So as you can see, we're able to beat man, we're able to beat zone really easily with this setup. And this does a great job of kind of mixing in this vertical wheel route with at the same time being able to attack high low there. And then late in the play, we can throw that against any outside coverage because that ready back wheel route is gonna act as a clear out route late in the play. And then if they're blitzing, we have wheels on both sides that are really effective at beating the blitz. So this play is extremely versatile and can attack defenses in a variety of ways. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch offense and how to attack defenses, um, I would really encourage you to jump into our Patreon. It's only $10 to join it, and it'll get you access to not only our Bunch ebook, but actually all of my Madden 23 offensive and uh, defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.